are they? They might look like those monsters from the scary movies we watched because of its spines, their shape, and texture. But you know what? They are called carnivorous plants! Carnivorous plants are plants which get nutrients from trapping and eating animals. There are currently around 630 species of these plants. They eat things like insects, spiders, other small soil and water living invertebrates, protozoans, lizards, and mice. Carnivorous plants can grow in places where the soil is thin or poor in nutrients like swamps, forests, and rocky or sandy sites. So, how do carnivorous plants attract their prey? Carnivorous plants use a variety of strategies to lure their prey into the traps. Some produce strong smelling nectar. Some have intense coloration that mimic flowers. Others camouflage themselves effortlessly into their surroundings so that victims slip into them. Some glow in the dark to get their prey's attention. Hmm, how about how carnivorous plants capture their prey? Once the potential meal is around, they do their trap like opening their leaves and snap closer around their prey or trap prey with its bristles or hair. Some trap by secreting sticky substances. Once a carnivorous plant has captured its food, it typically digests it with enzymes for a few days. They don't actually chew food. They simply trap it to be digested later. Let me tell you some awesome carnivorous plants. Sundew. They are flypaper plants that trap prey in sticky hairs on their leaves, each with a sticky gland at the tip. These droplets look like dew glistening in the sun. Once the insect becomes stuck in the nearby tentacles, coil around the insects. They can self-pollinate, but others reproduce through seeds. Venus flytrap Venus flytraps grow to around 5 inches in diameter. Each plant usually has about 6 stems with hind leaves. The edges of the leaves are lined with teeth and the leaves fit together like a clamshell. The most interesting thing about this plant is how it eats. Flytrap lure insects by the reddish lining in the leaves and by secreting sensory hairs on the inside of the petals essentially count the movements of the insect. There must be at least two movements in 20 seconds or the petals won't close. This prevents it from trapping debris or other items that wouldn't make a good meal. Oh, by the way, are carnivorous plants dangerous to humans? No, carnivorous plants are not dangerous to humans to any extent. Some will eat tiny bits of human flesh if we feed it to them. However, they do not pose any threats to humans. If you ask me why they are not dangerous to humans, many find it hard to believe. They are dangerous to lots of living things, namely small animals, frogs, and insects. But humans are not on their menu. It takes a long span of time for carnivorous plants to digest their food. It will take weeks for them to start digesting the tip of a human finger. And because we are alive and well, by the time the plant begins to break the finger down, the finger will be unaffected. The prey of the carnivorous plants has two things in common. 
They are usually dead and small. They are easy to digest and can't kill themselves because they are dead. Carnivorous plants are just another reason we find the world of plants so interesting. It's amazing how they've adopted to capture prey. Thank you for watching. Bye!